Okay, I'll make this quick to make room for our Congresswoman. Um, the Senator uh, sends his regrets. He wished he could have been here today, but he did ask that I read this letter. Uh, dear friends, one of the greatest legacies we can leave future generations is to expand our nation's re renewable energy infrastructure and decrease our dependency on fossil fuels. <clears throat> that is why I support clean energy solutions to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and put the United States on the path to a new energy economy. No area of innovation and science will be more important than in our nation's ability to tackle climate change and to lead the world in clean energy technology. America can and must become truly energy independent and we must move from a traditional carbon intensive energy sources to ever cleaner alternatives. <clears throat> Investing in cleaner energy will help create quality jobs and protect our nation from the serious economic and strategic risks associated with our reliance on foreign oil fuels. Climate change is not a theoretical problem. It's one of those stubborn facts that doesn't go away just because we choose to ignore it. In New Mexico, we're seeing bigger fires, drier summers, and less snowpack in the winter. In the past few months, we've seen our high elevation forests burn. And with humidity levels lower and temperatures higher, we are dealing with fire behavior that is markedly more intense than in the past. Over the last three years alone, we have seen the two largest fires in New Mexico's hit history. With elevated temperatures, studies at Los Alamos National Labs predict that three quarters of New Mexico's evergreen forests may be gone by 2050. At the same time, we are experiencing our driest two-year period since, keeping, since record keeping started in the mid-19th century. Flows in the Rio Grande are less than 20% of normal, and despite the relief of recent rainfall, New Mexico is still in the midst of an unprecedented drought. We owe it to our children to do all that we can to reverse the effects of climate change. In 1961, President John F. Kennedy made a bold claim that an American would walk on the moon by the end of the decade. Eight years later, Neil Armstrong did just that. Today, we face similarly audacious, a similarly audacious challenge when it comes to addressing climate change. We need to think big and to execute. We did that when President Kennedy said we'd go to the moon and we made it happen. Climate change is our greatest future challenge and we must commit to solving it within the next decade. This remains a top priority for me in the United States Senate. Senate, I am by nature an optimist. I have seen our nation defy the odds again and again. And yes, I believe compromise and even bipartisanship are possible. Using science to rise to our nation's challenge is an issue where both par parties can come together and find common ground. I look forward to continuing to work with you so that our nation and the state of New Mexico can achieve the greatness and the future that all of our children deserve. Again, I appreciate your invitation to join you. Please do not hesitate to call on me and to let me know how I can be of further service. Sincerely, Martin Heinrich, United States Senate.